So this is a little file holder that I made myself. So it holds the file right in here at the right angle that I, I want for the, the angle of my frets, the end of my frets to be.
we've got the tailpiece, the bridge, the nut and the tuner is ready. So uh, I ordered the strings a couple weeks ago, but they're still not here. So all we have to do now is wait for the strings. So a lot of you have been waiting to hear this instrument for quite a while now, so that's how it sounds and I'm really, really pleased with it. Uh, most of you probably heard the fret buzzing. Uh, I know I have an issue with the bridge here. Uh, the, the bridge right now in the height is already maxed out and I would need to get at least another like 16 to an 8 uh, in height to clear the, because the strings are pretty big, uh, there's, there's oscillation and then uh, they end up buzzing on the frets behind. So I would just need to get it a bit higher in order to do that. I'm gonna redo the saddle part of the bridge. Um, so uh, yeah, like the, it, the, the mandolin is really, really loud. Uh, like you don't have to play much to, to get a, a good response from it. So, uh, I really like that. I never had any issues uh, with uh, recording my instruments before. Uh, I recorded mandolins uh, with this camera and the microphone of the camera. And for this one, because I had the camera set in front of, the, of me here where the projection of the instrument was right in front of it and uh, the microphone where it was distortioning, I, I couldn't get like a, a proper recording. Uh, hence the, the reason why I'm on an angle and trying to project the sound more this way. And I'm not playing as loud a, as I was playing a bit earlier, but even though I'm not like really playing hard on it, so so no, like the response is really good. Uh, there's still a few things that we're gonna need to do next time. Uh, so it's gonna be a video about voicing. So voicing is basically shaping those f holes to maximize the amount of uh, airflow coming out. So we don't want them too small that the airflow from the instrument, like the the vibration needs moves the air and the air needs somewhere to go. So if they're too small, it's restricting the projection of the instrument. If they're too big, it's just like you lose a lot of sound. So it, the, the, with the stroke tuner that I use to uh, tune the tone bars and the backboard, 
uh, we're going to use that to voice the instrument. So that's done with the instrument under full tension. We mute the strings and then uh, we're going to be able to figure out uh, uh, where, where we're at and what we need to do. So that's going to be in the next video. So I want to thank you guys again for stopping by and watching this uh, segment again on the octave mandolin build. This one was pretty exciting. You can hear the instrument. Uh, so I invite you guys to subscribe, like and share. Uh, I hope to see you again next time. Until then, I wish you well.